How to set up a base respawn. What's up everybody? This is Gunter Serverlo. Today I'm going to show you two methods on how to set up a basic base respawn. Let's go to the editor and we're going to go to Stratus. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to choose the blue force side and then we're going to place a rifleman and he's going to be our player. Now that we have our player down, we're going to save the mission. So you click on the save icon down the stratus and then we're going to name this base respawn and now the mission saved which will have created a folder we're going to go to the mission folder and i'm going to show you this first method we are in the folder of the mission that we created here's the mission sqm what we're going to need to do is create a description.ext in order to create that script file going to start up either a notepad document or a notepad plus plus document we're just going to start up a notepad document and go from there all right so what we're going to put in here is we're going to put two codes that will define how we respawn so the first thing we're going to type is respawn space equals base and then semicolon next line down we're going to type respawn delay then space equals five and then semicolon okay what this is is base defines custom position at which you're going to respawn so hence the function of respawning means you're going to be respawning at the base this can be defined another way and i'll show you a wiki page on that the next line down says respawn delay equals five. Respawn delay means how long it will take before you respawn. The five stands for five seconds. So it'll take you five seconds before respawn at a position that you choose. We need to save this description.ext. So let's go to file and then save as. Window dialog should open up to save it somewhere. And what you're going to name this is description.ext. Under here, you want to make it all files. You don't want to have it a text document because sometimes with these text documents, if you save it like I have it here, except as a text document, it'll say this. .ext t xt so you'll have an extra thing on there and then it won't be won't be read by the game so you want to make sure it says description.ext and don't misspell it check it again once you type it out and then save it and make sure it's correct and then hit save and then it should say description.ext there we have it so now you have a description.ext now there's a website i want to show you and this is the Arma 3 wiki. This talks about the description.ext and just to go over it real quick. The, the description.ext is a mission config file and is used to set the overall mission attributes or to define global properties that will be available for other scripts. And this is placed in the root mission folder just like how we have it set up currently. I'll let you guys read this and look at this. There's other information here that you'll find useful and you can use like there's templates uh, other codes that you can use a lot of different things it talks about different aspects of respawn it even has templates and other miscellaneous things what we're going to do now is we're going to go back into the mission and we're going to set up the other part of this method for this respawn base to work now in the editor back in our mission the only thing that we need for this to work is a marker so let's go to F6 click on markers it'll put you on the map so you're gonna scroll in and based on where you want to respawn at you can choose from whatever markers you want you just need a little marker I'm just gonna place down a flag that's it so you open up the marker the only thing that you need to be concerned about is the variable name of this marker. So we're going to erase that. And since we're the are we are on the blue four side, blue four faction, this marker is going to be named respawn underscore west. 
and it doesn't it's not case sensitive so you could just type it as it is now if you wanted to add some text or whatever like base respawn marker then you could do that you could even change the color if you want and go like that you can move it around etc you could do that if you want all right, so the text is not required. The respawn underscore west is. We're going to save this now. And then what we're going to do in order to test this, we have to play this in MP LAN. So we're going to go to multiplayer. I'm going to set up a LAN server. It's only going to be one player. Password, hit OK. And then here's our player. Click OK. And then we're just going to hit OK. And you're not going to see the marker until you go to the map. The marker is right next to us. Basically, all we, get, all we have to do is just kill ourselves. And uh, should we have a grenade? Alright, you can see the countdown at the bottom. And that we set it for five seconds and we respond right where we put the respond marker and that's how you do that all right i'm going to show you another method on how to set up a base respond so this will be method two so let's go back and what we're going to do is we're just going to delete everything all right and start over so i'm going to delete the marker I'm going to go back into the mission folder and I'm going to delete the des description.ext. Okay, we're back now. And what we're going to do for this second method is, and since we're blue four, we're going to just place a marker because we're going to need a marker. And we're going to name this respawn underscore west since it's a marker for blue four and we don't need to name it or anything just hit okay so the second method we're going to go to the top here where it says attributes and you're going to click on that and then you're going to go down to multiplayer and at the top you might want to just put one player just for the sake of test you don't need to define the game mode i mean if you're really working on a mission i'd suggest working on you know defining the game mode but for this we're just just showing you how to set this up and then you're going to go down to where it says respawn at, at the moment it's set to disabled so we're going to open that up and we're going to go down to where it says respawn on custom position when you hover your mouse cursor over this you could see a dialog box opens up and this says respawn on a position defined by the marker with a specific prefix in its name when multiple ones are available a random one is selected so as you could see in the list, it says respawn and then respawn underscore west, blue four respawn, etc. So we want to choose this respawn our custom position for the basic base respawn. We're going to go down to where it says respawn delay. And as you can see, if you hover your mouse cursor over the, the word, it says time and seconds after which player responds. So what you're going to do is you could either use the bar here or you can actually just type in the number. So you want to go to seconds unless you want to wait for minutes or whatever. It really depends on your mission. But for the sake of demonstration, we're going to set to five seconds. There's other stuff you can do, but just hit OK. And that sets up our respawn. And then we're going to hit save. And then our marker is set. Respawn underscore west. And now what we got to do is we're going to go to MP LAN. And we have the player, so we choose the player, hit OK, hit continue, bottom right, and here we are. So you could hit escape and manually respawn, you could do that, or you can get killed somehow. So we're going to set up a grenade, get killed, and you can see the countdown timer. And we just respond. All right, guys, there's one more thing I want to show you. Let's go to my desktop again, and I'm going to show you another wiki page. Okay, this is the Arma 3 wiki page for 
Arma 3 Respawn. So in this page, you can learn about different aspects of Arma 3 Respawn. If we scroll down, here are the respawn types, and this is the code that we used for the description.ext that we created earlier in method one. So you could use this code in a description.ext or you could do the editor way. So if you look at the different codes here, if you set the, this is for the description.ext, uh, these parts, but these basically describe what some of these uh, functions do. So for today, we set up a base respawn and as you can see here, for a unit respawn, which is basic, which is a soldier, you have respawn west for blue four respawn east for old four respawn gorilla for independent and respawn civilian for civilian. I'll link this page in the description of the video as well as the description.ext so you guys can have a more in-depth and informed detail information on how all this stuff works. There's a lot to this stuff, so if you're new, totally new to respawn and stuff, then just start with a simple base respawn and go from there and then experiment with some different stuff. And uh, that's it. All right, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something from this and you find this useful. And I will catch you guys on the next video.